And a warning, his report contains graphic images of wounds sustained by some of the soldiers in battle. He buries his face under a cotton cap. His story kept hidden from view. But this man has seen and suffered on the Eastern Front. Facially disfigured in the Ukrainian war, Max Horowitz was offered a hospital bed on the other side of Europe. The city of Dublin now provides something of a sanctuary. Ma Max, can, can you remove your hat? Can you take your hat? Yeah. OK. Why are you here, Max? Captain Horowitz and his unit were targeted on a bridge as they tried to repair a communication line, but they were spotted by the Russians, who attacked with artillery. When did you realize that you had been injured? Was it right away, or did that realization come later? Max blacked out and later fell into a coma. He would lose his right eye, and his skull was badly damaged. He's one of tens of thousands of Ukrainian soldiers who've been injured in this conflict, but the authorities won't say how many. His friends, Oleg and Boris, saved his life, dragging him to safety under enemy fire. This picture taken just before the attack. He was moved from hospital to hospital in Ukraine, but the system is under strain. So the European Union has stepped in with an unprecedented medical airlift. Max was flown on a French jet from southeast Poland to a hospital in Ireland. One of 2,000 seriously injured soldiers and civilians who've been placed at facilities around Europe. Do you want to knock on the door there? Uh -huh. Yeah, here. <laughs> Here's another. Ukrainian Ivan Nederbrook was shot twice when his position was attacked by Russian troops. One bullet entered through his shoulder and passed through his spine. <laughs> Ivan's been hospitalized for the past nine months, and he's trying to regain some mobility at Ireland's National Rehabilitation Hospital. Lean forward. But it's an excruciating process. Better. The pain is physical, and it's also psychological. Ivan can no longer tolerate the thought of war. Will you go back to Ukraine? Max needs reconstructive surgery to rebuild his face, but he's had to wait. Irish hospitals are operating at full capacity. But he does have support. His wife Tatiana and daughter Sophia joined him in February. This a joyous moment. When Max was injured, he asked Tatiana if she'd still love him with one eye. She cried and said, of course. This journey's been hard and unexpected. The war has led them far from home. But they have a right to stay here, like all participants in the Medivac scheme. 
It's nice here, isn't it, by the sea? You like it here? However, Captain Horobitz says he wants to go back and fight. You won't stay, you will go back to Ukraine. He knows the risks and he suffered the consequences of a war that is defying resolution. But it may prove difficult to leave these welcoming shores. John Sparks, Sky News in Dublin.